Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone, this is Amayu with a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to create the box plots of different variables. So first of all, if I show my data, you see here in this corner, I have some 15 variables of this data and I want box plots for each and every one of them. So how are we going to do that? For that, you need to convert this data into the melted form. In order to convert them into the melted form, you will be requiring the melt function. So let's convert this data into the melted form. I am naming as melt data, melted data, right? So this is the name. You can give any name to it. So I'll be using this melt function, M-E-L-T so for melt. So my data it has been saved in my data with the name of my data. This data is actually saved in the my data name. So you have to give the name of this data. And then the second thing you need to give is id.wars. id.wars is equal to now. So you need to give. Right. So now it has converted into the melted form. Let's see. Let's see this melted form with the view function. How does it look like? So this is my melted data. If I show you, this is the melted form. In this form, it has the variable name and it has the values. So all the variable names in the first column and all the values in front of them in the second column. Now, you have to use our script for the ggplot functions, right? So, how are we going to plot them in a beautiful looking box plots? So, for that, you'll be needing ggplot. Remember, this ggplot function is in the ggplot2 package. ggplot2 right you have to install it and you have to library it i'm not going into details you must be knowing that so ggplot ggplot right ggplot and then this parenthesis and after the parenthesis you have to give the name of the melted data so the melted form i've named it as melted data this is my melted data right and then comma and after comma you have to give the aesthetics Inside this inside this ggplot parenthesis, you have to give the aesthetics. And for the aesthetics, you will be needing a separate parenthesis. So aesthetics, in the aesthetics, what you have to give, it it already knows after bringing in, into the melted form that in the x-axis, you need to take the variable. You just have to give x, x, x is equal to variable. And in the y, you need to have the values. So in the y, you have to give the value. Always x is equal to variable, y is equal to value. You have to follow this format always and always, right? After the melted form. So now you have to give the plus sign after the two parentheses. And after the plus sign, now you're going to give it geoom underscore box plot, right? Geoom underscore box plot. So if we run this, let's see what do we have. Right, so here we have nice box plots for all the variables so if i see in the x-axis we have the variable names and on the y-axis we have the values and then we have the box plots these box plots are very smaller if you see because the, most of the values of them are actually falling uh, near to zero right so so the the level slope and curvature have higher values as well so they have the larger box plots and the rest have the smaller box plots so don't worry about that right so let's do something else. So what can we do other things? For example, if I want to add the titles, so how I'm going to do it. Rest will remain the same. You have to give this plus sign, right? And after the plus sign, just name xlib. Use this xlib function, right? xlib. And in this xlib, inside you, you give a name. For example, I've, these are the cryptos data. So I'm giving it as cryptos so in the xlib i give it cryptos and in the y lab for example i have the returns so let me give it as returns in the y lab so in the y label on the y axis you will be show it will be showing the returns uh, in spite of this value and on the x axis it will be showing the cryptos in spite of this variable again you know give a plus sign now if i want to give the main title to this plot for that i'll be using this gg title right so gg title for example i want to give the name of this whole plot as the box plots box plots of cryptos right box plots of cryptos okay now run this whole thing 
Let's see, what do we have? C. So if I write now, you know, on the on the main the main title is actually box plot of cryptos. On the x-axis I have cryptos, on the y-axis I have returns, right? So what if you want to color them? If you want to change the color, what you have to do? Rest, remember, the rest will remain the same. We don't need to do anything with the rest, but you have to do some magic, you know, after this uh, uh, value in the aesthetics. In the aesthetics, you have to give another thing as fill. Fill is equal to variable. Again, you have to give the variable name, right? So for this variable, so if I run it, let's see what, what do we have? Okay. See, now it has colors. Wow. It has different colors. On here, you, you've got, you know, the the legend as well. On the x-axis, you have those cryptos. On the y-axis, you've got the returns. And you've got a very nice legend as well. So now, in the next section, for example, if you want to change the color, then what, what will you do for it? So if you want to change the color, remember, I've got 15 variables. And for that, I'll be needing 15 different colors. Okay. So for colors, I don't know, I don't know the names of colors. Like I, I know very few names like red, yellow, pink, indigo, white. So for the 15 colors, there is a package, there is a function which will give you the names of those colors. And that is actually the rainbow, rainbow function. So if I show, if I put 15 inside this rainbow, it will be, it will show me the 15 colors of the rainbow, 15 colors, you know, of the names of the 15 different colors. So now I'll be using these names and I'll create a new variable as color. Color is equal to C of, I'll be using these names. Okay, so, so now I have to make few changes in it because I'll be needing commas out, uh, you know, after every single element, commas, because I, I always need commas in this vector. So, yeah, see, so I have 15 colors now saved in this color variable. Okay, so now if I have those colors, I have to use another argument for the color. So you need to just place this plus and after plus you have to give another. Okay, I'll be needing, I'll be using scale underscore fill, right? And underscore manual. Okay, I'm giving manual colors to it. So for that, their values. So values is equal to what? I've saved the 15 colors in a color variable here. So just enter that variable here, color. Right, Let, let's see it, whether it changes the colors or not. See, it has changed the colors. Wow, now the colors are, you know, a sort of very interactive. Okay, one thing else I would like you all to do, to remove this you know, legend because it's a sort of inappropriate here. We already have the names of the the cryptocurrencies on the x axis on the y axis we have written so why do we need this you know legend so just remove this legend now for that you will be needing a separate you know argument plus sign and then a new argument believe me it's very easy ggplot you need to practice once and then you will master it so for that i'll be using this guides guides uh, uh, function Inside this guys, fill is equal to none. Just, oh yes, I have to place this none inside the parenthesis. Sorry, inside the semicolon, semicolon, right? Now it worked. Okay, see, now I don't have the legend, but it looks beautiful now. So you have all the box plots of the 15 variables. I believe it will be very helpful for you while, you know, while, making box plots for your publications and for your reports and everything. So keep watching my channel. I'll be coming with coming up with few more brilliant videos uh, for your for the help of your publications and other things. Thank you very much. Allah face. Goodbye.